cordially invited to the social event of the season, a soiree at 5 p.m. this Saturday at the home of Miss Rhonda Lloyd. A light supper will be served, and there will be dancing. I reckon this here's our first boy-girl party. Yeah, I guess so. I don't know. It seems pretty sophisticated to me. I mean, girls and dancing? Oh, I reckon girls are all right. And even dancing might not be so bad. Unless you wind up having to dance with someone like Big Patty. Yeah, well, I think girls are stupid. And I think dancing's stupid, too. If I ever dance with a girl, I bet I drop dead. Well, there's probably going to be a lot of food there. I guess I'll go to Rhonda's party. Yeah, me too. I don't understand, Harold. Why aren't you going to the party? Why should I? All the other kids are going. Put on your bar mitzvah suit and have a good time. Who knows? You might meet a nice little girlfriend. Oh, yuck. I hate girls. What's wrong with girls? You know, your mother was a girl. Oh, that was a long time ago. Not so long ago. All right, that's completely different anyway. Besides, girls don't like me either. What's not to like? You're a charming, handsome young man. No, I'm not. Listen to your mother, son. You are. You're a charming, handsome boy. I am not. He can be very charming, Marilyn. Not to mention handsome. Cut it boy. out, please. Just look in the mirror. Take a look. You're a charming, handsome young man. Stop it, Mom. I'm not charming. I'm not handsome. I'm a big, dumb, ugly kid. Harold, please. All right, I'll go to the party. But I'll just look stupid and no one will dance with me. Me. Will that make you happy, Mom? Harold, please, you're getting all excited. I can't handle this! asking me to dance, Arnaldo. Uh, I wasn't. Because I would rather stick my head in that bowl of dip than dance with a football head like you. That's okay. I was just getting some punch. <laughs> Arnold, what a dream. How I loathe him. <laughs> and yet, I love him. Those golden locks. Those adorable half-lidded eyes. Oh, if only my courage were not so shallow and my resolve so cracked. If only my tongue were not so thick, I would speak the words that burning may course through my veins every day of my twisted existence. I love you. I love you. I love you. You're a boy. So what if I'm a boy? What's wrong with boys? Nothing. Except they're stupid. I am not stupid! And if you say that again, I'm, I'm gonna pound you! You and what army? You know, you, you really fucked me! I know why you can't dance. You're scared. I am not! You, you take that back, you liar! I am not scared to dance! Watch this! One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You smell like something. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. It's nice. Oh, uh, thanks. Don't mention it. 
You're kind of big for a fourth grader. Well, I, I was sort of uh, held back a couple of years. It, it's not that I'm dumb or anything, okay? They, they said I didn't apply myself, that's all. It really bugs me when people say I'm dumb. If I had a dime for every kid I beat up for calling me dumb boy, oh, oh I'd sure have a whole bunch of dimes. I know. Kids call me dumb sometimes, too. Well, you don't seem so dumb to me. Thanks. What's your name, anyway? Harold. My name's Patty. Oh, I like that. So, nice night, huh? You come here often? Say the fun. The party's over. Everyone's gone. <sighs> so then the doctors had to cut me open and take out my appendix. Y you want to see my scar? Hey, that's real neat. You really think so? Most girls think it's gross. Hey, we've been talking all night. I don't usually talk to girls this much. Most of them think I'm just dopey and boring. I don't think you're boring. Really? No, I think you're, well, I think you're kind of charming. <laughs> hey, tomorrow's Sunday. You, you want to do something? Like what? I, I don't know. Just uh, hang around. Maybe uh, goof on some people. Sure, if you want to. <laughs> I don't like lunch period that much. You're kidding! That's my favorite period! How can you not like lunch period? Well, it's probably because I always end up sitting by myself. Ever since I was in the second grade, I guess I got a reputation for being kind of tough. Nobody ever wanted to sit with me. It's no big deal or anything, but sometimes I wish I had somebody to eat with. You know, just a friend I could talk to in between chewing. <gasps> hey, Stinky, come over here and tell me what I'm looking at. Well, I'd say it looks like Harold, only it can't be Harold on account of he's sitting with a girl. It is Harold, and it's not just a girl, it's Big Patty. You reckon he snapped his cap? He must have, Stinky. What other explanation could there be? I had a really good time, Patty. Me too. I guess I'll see ya. Okay. Hey, Patty. Uh, I was just, uh, just, just wondering, um, you, you want to sit together at lunch tomorrow? Really? Uh, sure. Okay. I I'll meet you in the hallway by the drinking fountain after the bell rings. Okay. See ya. Hey, Harold. <gasps> What? Am I whacked, or did Stinky and me see you with Big Patty at the ice cream parlor? Yeah, I was there. With Big Patty? Her name's Patty, and so what if I was? I thought you didn't like girls anyway. I don't. I mean, they're okay. What's the big deal anyways? Well, it's no big deal if you got a crush on a girl, Harold. But who would have thought you'd get one on Big Patty? Yeah, Big Patty. <laughs> Crush on her. I don't even really like her. Uh, I was just doing her a favor by hanging out with her. I, I probably won't even see her again. Okay, Harold. You don't have to get all mad about it. <laughs> Stop it or I'll pound ya! Patty. And who is this Patty person? Just a girl. A girl? Where did you meet her? Uh, at the party. It's no big deal. You spent the entire afternoon with her. Sounds like our Harold's got a special little girlfriend. She's not my girlfriend! We'll invite her over for dinner. How's next Wednesday? We can invite her parents, too. Aww. We can show her those adorable baby pictures of you. The ones of you on the bearskin with your keister up in the air. Ah, uh -huh, gee! with me and said? I was kind of supposed to meet somebody. Who? It's not your girlfriend, Big Patty, is it? <laughs> Harold and Patty. Shut up! It's not Patty! Why would I be having lunch with her and she's not my girlfriend? I guess Rhonda's party was okay. I ate a lot. And we got to see Wolfgang spill a whole glass of punch on his pants. <laughs> <laughs> Even the dancing wasn't so bad. Especially on account of we didn't have to dance with someone like Big Patty. Yeah, she's so big and clumsy, she'd probably step on your feet and send you straight to the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or she'd trip over her own feet and fall on you and crush you. Yeah, and she'd send you straight to the hospital. <laughs> I guess if Big Patty tried to dance with me, I'd run for my life. <laughs> Stop it! You guys don't know what you're talking about. Her name's not Big Patty, it's Patty. And she's not clumsy. 
and she's not dumb. Not only that, she's smart and she's nice and she's funny. I must be crazy to listen to you guys. What do I care what you think? The only thing that matters is what I think. And what I think is I like Patty. And if anybody's got a problem with that, I'll beat you up so bad it won't even be funny. Sorry I'm late, Patty. Do you still want to have lunch with me? Because if you don't, it's okay. I mean, I, you know, I'd understand. Please sit down, Harold. Mm -hmm.